Hi, this is Kerala at KeralaFickland.com. Welcome Network.com. Welcome.com. I study cards.com. I study guides.com. Explain A S K P L A I N.com. Uh, I'm here talking about irregular verbs in English. Now, there are two levels. First, there's a level of structure. When a verb is irregular, why is it irregular and what is and what is its irregularity? That's the easiest part. It's much easier than let's say in a language such as Spanish where a verb is irregular and it has about four or five different forms. Okay, um, for example, let's see, if I give you the verb, oh, let's see, to fight, for example, in English, what you, I'm, I'm talking about the past tense, oh, yeah, I should say that first of all. Uh, first of all, let's look at irregular verbs in English. And let's, let's look at where irregular verbs are in English. Let's look at that first. Okay, so. Um, most verbs in English, especially if you're talking about the simple present tense, the present indicative, are regular. Most verbs are regular. Okay? So I'm talking structure-wise. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm basically talking about, structure-wise. So if you're looking at the simple present tense, even verbs that are irregular in the simple past or in the perfect tenses. When I say perfect tense, I'm talking about the present perfect, the past perfect, the conditional perfect, the future perfect. Perfect is the verb plus have. For example, I have eaten, I had eaten, I will have eaten, I would have eaten. I would have no been eating. That's perfect progressive. Okay. So even if you're talking about uh, verbs that are irregular in the past tense, most of those verbs, I would say 90%, maybe even 99% of those verbs are regular in the simple present tense or in the present indicative. They're almost all regular in the progressive tenses because it's generally the second verb it's not the first verb the first verb is the verb to be so for example I am oh, I don't know give me a regular verb to eat to take alright so I am taking an exam you we they are taking an exam he she it is taking an exam those are the, that's the progressive tense I have been taking I would have been taking, taking, I will have been taking. Okay, so those are the progressive tenses. So, so in the present tense or in the present indicative, you really don't have to worry so much about um, irregular verbs. The verbs that are irregular, there's only one verb that has more than just two forms. No, there's only one verb that has three forms. Because normally speaking, if it's irregular in the past tense, it only has, well, it depends. Yeah, auxiliary. Yeah, for example, let's look at it. First, the verb to be. That's irregular. I am. So it's am. So it's the verb to be. I am. In Spanish, it's ser or estar. Okay, so... um I am, you, we, they, are, and are spelled A-R-E, he, she, it, is. So you have to learn three words. Am, are, is. Am, are, is. If you're talking about the auxiliary verbs, they, they are also irregular. But look at this. It's fantastic. They all have the same form, and that's why they're irregular. 
for example, and by the way, the auxiliary verbs do not begin with the two. There is no infinitive form. It's only the simple form. So you don't say two can, two may, two will, two would. No. Because if you say two can, that means something very different than can. To can has two meanings. One is more standard to put into a can. And to can also means to fire, to let go, to lay off. Okay? So it's, it's generally can, may, would, will. And it's I, you, we, they, he, she, it, can. You normally... No, always there's a second verb. I can. What can you do? I can eat. I can talk. I can walk. I can play. I can write. Right? The other irregular verb. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I can. I, you, we, they can. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Can I you we they he she it will I you we they he she it may I you will I you we they he she it would may okay now other irregular verbs they have two forms for example the verb to go I you I you, we, they, go, G-O. That's not the irregularity. The irregularity is in the he, she, and it. So with the exception of the verb to be, and the auxiliary verbs can, may, will, would, should, ought to, might, The other verbs which are irregular, there are not that many. The irregularity very rarely is in the I, we, they form. It's normally in the he, she, and it form. Because if you think about the auxiliary verbs, that's where the irregularity comes in. Because if it were regular, it would be... Um, Let's look at should. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, should. If it were regular, the irregularity, the regular, uh, it's irregular because the he, she, and it doesn't end in the S. But let's look at the verb to go. I, you, we, they, go. He, she, it, goes. And that S sounds more like a Z, goes. Not goes, but goes. The verb to do. I, you, we, they, do. He, she, it, does. Now, a real, a, just a point about pronunciation. I know that the, the he, she, it for the verb to go is G-O-E-S. And the he, she, it for the verb to do is D O E S, and you say, well, they should rhyme. They should have. They should be pronounced almost the same. They're not. Now, this is the irregularity in English: the pronunciation. The G O E S is pronounced goes like G O Z, more like G O Z if you're doing it phonetically, and the D O E S is pronounced more like. Uh, D A Z does. Okay, so the the, the irregularity, if you if, if you you know if you're gonna have a hard time, there is more with the pronunciation. All right, and other irregular verbs are irregular when you talk about the he, she, and it. That's the present tense. When we come back, we're gonna look at the irregular verbs but not in the present tense because most of them are regular but where the irregularity really exists in the past tense and in the perfect tenses. So this is Corrala Ficklin at CorrallaFicklin.com.